Hello everybody. So this is a video I made right after I successfully configured Key Clock with uh, Spring Boot 3. So super excited. So um, let me declare the main purpose of my app is an API backend that take JWT from the client probably an angular app so this this is a new new application i build for test taker and maker so people can create quizzes or test multiple choices and other kind of thing some people can go into that and take the test and there are some admins to do the administration tasks. So you see that, let me increase the font size. Not sure if there is a shortcut, but I mean, um, appearance. Um, where is that? Oh my God, is this? It is 16. Magic. Oh no, no, not this one. But uh, font. Yeah, editor. Sure, this is the, the one. Appearance. Oh my god. I got my help. Here we go. Font. And I'm going to temporarily increase to 18. So you can see it clearer. So I have key clock running and from key clock uh, from string boot two to three there are a lot of things a lot of things was removed. So I spent the morning config this. So as you can see I'm uh, I'm using MongoDB but it doesn't matter. There are a few things you need to to use. So the first thing is this. Yeah, you need to have this configuration and also this yeah, path match. And the security config is quite simple. You know, no key clock. No, probably I don't need this. Sorry. I just want to remove everything regarding key clock here. Because uh, it is removed, I guess. A lot of ad adapters uh, are removed or were removed in the new version. Let me check if it's working. Oh my god, it's, it's working. So, so you see, I have three rows here admin, maker, and taker. And this is very standard configuration, at least for me. So, member can access any member can access this endpoint and uh, public public endpoints as these admin maker and taker i think you get the idea so um yeah so this is the member controller this is a public controller and i have taker controller you see So let's uh, let's try. Um, no, there's nothing to try here. But uh, I show you this is very important. Not sure this is even needed, but anyways, the most important thing is here. So you need some converter to let Spring know that where is the authority claim. So let me show you. This is my. the font size oh my god anyways you'll see that this is the JWT token from key clock and the the claim the row claim is here so you need to have this so spring will understand or spring security understand 
that the authority claim is here rows yeah right and how do you guys set this up so go back to my key clock you see this is uh, a ram yeah uh, let me walk you through this very quickly so i created a few rows you see admin maker and taker and uh, let me show you nothing special and i should have configured admin to be a composite role uh, you can also access oh sorry not this one and uh rose is on right okay and he's also a taker and a maker that makes sense and you can also make a maker a composite role yeah if you like it like if you can make test then you can take test something like that a composite, uh, composite role is like you have a row and you have another row so for example later you have a, a token for the maker then you can also call the taker and void and voice so so these are the role Sim simply click on add role here just to uh, enter the name and that's it and you need to have some let me see mappers right so you click on the clan scopes here clan scopes click on roles and go to mappers and send me create a new one and map it to user ram role let me delete delete it first Claims, claims, and user ram. Let me see, user ram bro. Okay, user ram bro. Okay, and no prefix and rows. If you have different requirements, you can change this, but also you need to change it here, right? So it would be string, I guess. JSON, I don't know, string, yeah, no prefix, and that's it. Now, I also want to make the taker the default role, so click back to row here, default roles, and already set the taker. So, when you create a new user, you will see a row of of the uh, the guys should have default role here so go back to the user this is the taker i'm going to get his token by clicking on impersonate here and simply go to inspect go to network and reload make sure you check this click here to get only the I track the request so copy the value and put it here to make sure oh my god sorry oh my god okay and it seems the rose has gone so I see my mess up somewhere go back to rows here clan scope the rows mappers row claims what be this or something ram row use a ram row that would make sense why it isn't here um let's see let's see let's see let's see client scope and do i need to do something with the client console mappers i feel no um let me see rows a plan scope rows define um no row claims token claim name yep try json maybe probably json 
so I made the mistakes and you don't have to go back to this guy reload it and oh my god I did something very wrong so it's not JSON anyways is that some kind of catch or cage or whatever so when you see something like that you know that Operation is wrong. It should be rows, right? And we add to the access token. Anyways, go back to Taker again. For sure, he has the row mapping here. Okay. Do I need to? No. Tab console? No, no, no. This one. I need valid one need that but go to details impersonate anyways ah network reload it mm. oh my god please okay don't know don't know why maybe I did something wrong maybe King Kong needs to sometimes so just to recap I go to rows here the classic rows admin make a taker and I set the default rule to taker yeah you can set it any way you like and also I go to clan scope here click on rows should be here by default so click on that click on mappers create new and create one like this so now I have this one I'm going to make a request to the to the endpoint so make this clear right so this guy is, is a taker let me also create a like a, a maker right so to make sure Everything is, is working. Uh, maker controller. This should be maker and test. Sorry. Oh. My God. Oh God. Maker. Make it uppercase because being a maker is something is something yeah I'm serious <laughs> I'm something because I'm a maker sounds crazy right anyways so now we have the endpoint ready so to confirm this this endpoint is a taker right okay so let's try to I have the test the taker controller first so make sure host taker test should be well should be four three see uh deny right for one uh for one you don't have a token now I will provide a token. Uh, authorization, mirror, and paste the token. Oh my god, not this one. So the token is here. Copy this one. And also specify the endpoint. Same. Host. Test. Taker. Right. And no fab. Oh, sorry, take a test. Sorry, and you have this taker. Great, right? So, with the right token, you can get to the get the endpoint. But now, if I try to make her right, then it probably will get God. How can I probably get a for one again? Sure. Yep. You. I 
as uh, you add the, the V to have more details so probably you own for three so for one you don't have the token you don't have access and for three you're not authorized right yeah the request requires higher privilege interesting right now let's go back to Alice um, uh, where's Alice okay let's try with Alice right Alice is uh, some kind of she is an admin maybe so as you remember admin is a composite role you see that a side role is admin and effective role is everything so yeah it's very convenient go back to Alice and impersonate her and let's try this uh, network token okay copy the, the token value uh, and, and Alice a lot of rows not sure if this work anyways go back here replace the token right yeah this is the euro for maker so I hope it will work oh deny why 200 Let's see, let's see. Oh my god, why? Oh, you're a maker. Oh, that's it. I should have disabled the, the V. So you see, uh, Alice work with uh, ET Maker works with Alice token. Yep. You are a maker, right? And if you change this to taker you are taker right so alice is is an admin and surely she has access to all sorts of endpoints so um, yeah this is quite a long video but it's show you how you can set up key clock with spring 3 so this is my specific use case i only use the Spring Boot application for JWT token. I have a, a, an Angular app for the front end. Also, talk to this key clock server. So, if you are interested, I will make another video so you can have the full setup the Angular front end, the Spring Boot web app, and key clock as uh, user management. Like they say, IAM identity and access management server. So that's it. I will push this into GitHub, and you can check it out and start your backend project quickly. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I see you in the next next video.